For years, the immigration mood music of Alexandra Road was a solo affair. A long-established Asian community ran the businesses, bought the houses, ruled the roost. Then the Roma changed the track. To Manele, gypsy music. The new duet has had problems with tuning. Thank you, man. We start at the top of this globalized street. Anthony Pereira is a mechanic from Goa, used to be a hippie. His local Christian church connected him to British life when he first arrived. He plays in the choir there. In this song it says, you are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Wherever I am afraid, I will trust in you. For him though, this neighborhood is a long way from multicultural fairyland. Do you worry about immigration, Tony, to this country? Very much. Why? We should have the right people coming to this country. Eh? Yes, you, I mean, uh, in order to get integrated into the country, you have to educate, this, you, you have to get a certain type of, uh, you know, it has to be scrutinized to a certain uh, standard, I think so. When you see about Alexander Road, you should come there in the evening and see what's happening. Well, what do you mean? Huh? You see, all the hangout guys and the drug addicts and all these guys, you can come and see them, they're all hanging out. But is, is that a problem? Is that to do yes. with immigration? or? Oh, yes, it is, you know. At street level, he feels under siege, but also in terms of British culture. Any of these men would stand up for this country in times of crisis? I think some would. No. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. At the other end of the street, Kelly in the off-license, also under siege, but with extra customers. I know everybody, so when I'm walking down the road, it's always, hi, everybody, hi. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The business here for 20 years. The immigration story told in stock. So what did the Poles drink and they how drink, did they drink? The Polish beer, they drink a lot of vodka. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Do they drink a lot? Yeah. More than the Indians, I can't believe it. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> the Indians usually drink the most, don't they? But they've beaten the Indians. With, with the Roma Gypsy, what, what, what's their sort of drinking habit like? It's not a bad habit, tell you the truth. It's not. Uh, like well, I said, they, they, don't drink drink, they don't drink a lot. No, I've never seen a drunk. I've never seen one falling about. Is that right? No, yeah, not in yeah. my, I haven't in my yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they come in here, what's their main, what are they buying? Just pop and that, unless there's an occasion, then they'll buy the expensive stuff, obviously. Like the Remy. You mean like a birthday or a funeral yeah. or a... Yeah, Remy or something like... They don't even drink the cheap one, because actually they drink the dearer stuff. As we spoke, a young Roma mom insisted we film her toddler. So you were born here in, the, in, in Slough? Yeah, I have a passport. But not her. The street has problems with antisocial behaviour. We know, for example, that prostitution is a big issue locally. The closest we got to an ASBO moment, though, was this. <laughs> the Roma we met, happy to show off their kids, happy to show off their dance moves, not so keen on talking to us. For you. His mom Maybe Don't put it down, Jess, put it right down. Yes, OK, no problem. That is no fear problem for you. That is problem for boss to go. I have uh, no idea what's going on. The closest we got, Stefan from Romania. My grandfather used to be gypsy. Yeah. And my grandmother used to be Romanian. Okay. Then my mom, she's like 50-50, and my father is 100% Romanian. So I'm 75% and 25% gypsy. <laughs> Working for the British Pakistani family in the supermarket, a man at ease with his neighbours. It was as if he'd been waiting to tell someone. Nobody come to see, look, this guy is working, but when they find somebody doing something wrong, then they just go there and say, oh, look, Romania, the what they done. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they don't filming the good part of the yeah. Romanians, they're only trying to find the bad, well, the we're, bad we're, parts. We're here. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is my first chance to say something. Most people here, like the Lebanese family in the kebab shop, wanted to downplay any problems with immigration on their street. Not because it's immigration, but because it's their street. The 
international backdrop, feverish politicking over immigration. Here, a very personal experience of the issue, but the politics simply not playing. Is that what you think about politics, that it's for people who don't have anything better to do? <laughs> what are the big issues for you politically? It can be anything, like something nice. Who will you vote for? Sorry. This is your local MP now. <laughs> no, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. One minute, yeah? It's my wife. Hello. On Alexandra Road, it's not immigration as political clarion call. It's immigration lived. 